Yeah, a really nice restaurant. So I am headed out now. I just changed. I took a shower. Anyway, I put on some sunscreen going outside. Haven't worn this bodysuit in a good, like, couple of months. I don't remember the last time I've worn this, but it's really warm out, so I'm gonna bring something, but I, I'm mostly just gonna wear just a nice warm, like, summery kind of outfit because I think the last couple days, especially because the unit's been so hot, I really needed the fresh air and go outside. So, yeah, we'll see what the doctor says about my teeth. Hello vlog. So the appointment is done. All went well. I'm healing beautifully, they say. The top ones are almost completely healed, like 90 to 95%. Bottom right, bottom left look good. They're just healing slower because when you eat, more stuff gets stuck in the bottom. That makes sense. And when we get home, I'm going to show you the, um, the flushing out tool they gave me because they did give me that finally. I feel a lot better about this knowing that everything is fine. <laughs> Look at how beautiful it is outside. Like the contrast with the green leaves and the blue sky. I kind of want to stay out and walk a little bit more to be honest because it's sunny and it's nice and it's, it's a Saturday, right? Like I want to go out and do stuff. <laughs> I haven't been back to Crab Park in over a year, I think, since last year. Like, it's been a long time since I've been here. I figured since I was already in Gastown, I was gonna go walk around, and it's so pretty out, so here I am. I guess it's just a store. Hello, vlog. As you saw, I was out for a huge walk today after the dentist appointment because it's so beautiful out. It's just ridiculous. I have so many pictures of flowers. I went all the way to Crab Park, as you saw, and then I started just doing little window shopping. Didn't buy anything, though, from Gastown. So I think I had a pretty productive day. I'm ready to dive into thesis stuff soon, but I'm gonna eat first, and I wanted to show, like I said, the little dental tool that they provided to help me clean. I feel like most people have already seen or used or had this or something of this nature after an operation like this, but it's basically just a syringe. So you fill it with salt water like that, and then as you expel, you just push out through the syringe. So we got a nice cleaning tool that we can now use for the back of my mouth because it's very much needed. Hello vlog, it's been a long couple of days and it's been a long today, it's almost 10 p.m. and we just got back from dinner. We need to go grocery shopping tomorrow. We are going climbing tomorrow for the first time in a week and a couple of days. So we're really excited about that. And then we have a fun like brunch D&D plan for Monday. So we have to buy some stuff for that tomorrow as well. But I got about three hours worth of thesis work done and I'll come back into it tomorrow after we get back from climbing. But yeah, I'm just running through the edits and it's looking good. And I'm just gonna go to bed now because I've taken the T3 and just, it's a good time to go to bed. Good morning, vlog. We're going climbing shortly, but I just noticed I opened the fridge. Tommy had ice cream last night, and I think he accidentally put it in the fridge. I am crushing it today and I will update on that later when we're walking back, but Tommy wants me to film some way. He's stronger feels like a dollar solution. Can't teach tall. <laughs>
I wanted to do a little like chat about how climbing went today because I was just killing it and I was so excited about it because we haven't been climbing since the 19th just before I got my wisdom tooth operation done on the 20th. I just kind of went in and did a couple starting these zeros and just like went. I felt really fresh so I felt really good. My hands did get a little torn apart more than they usually do because they're soft but my arms were like always like ready to go. Like my body wasn't getting tired. Uh, my hands were getting you know beat up so but the yellow ascending one that took me like 45 seconds back on the 18th or whenever i like posted that video uh i did it today in like 20 seconds or something it was awesome so i was really excited about that the dawn air was bomb and now i'm just like super sleepy from it and food coma and pretty hard and we went grocery shopping as you saw we went to safeway which we don't normally do but when we got off to get dawn airs near devonia and harbor park we just went to the safeway on denman and we haven't been to that one before but Growing up with a Safeway, I knew it was a lot cheaper and it's a lot cheaper than the IGA that we usually go to right in the middle of downtown. The selection's bigger, it's just a bigger like place. Um, and most things were on sale today, which was great because we picked up quite a few things for just us. And then also we are having a D&D brunch tomorrow morning. So we're gonna make latkes and banana bread tonight to bring over tomorrow. It's just gonna be really fun to do that. That's something different. I'm just excited that one, my teeth aren't infected and two, climbing was just, the progress is just fantastic. We are making edits, sorry it's blinking, but we have uh, comments from my advisor and then my own draft so it doesn't get all mixed up and I'm not writing over certain things that disappear. I like to track multiple drafts and all of the draft iterations here starting from one and then I just end up changing here. I just end up changing the number when I get further along in the process and number them and then indicate exactly which one comes from which reader. It's really easy to lose track of what is like my writing and which is like a comment they made and all this stuff. So I found that that's a very important thing I need to do to actually organize all the drafts. Good morning vlog. So we are going to our friend's house shortly. So I'm making latkes because we're doing D&D brunch. Now I feel like it's important to say every time I'm planning something with this one group of friends, I always have something go wrong and I end up feeling like shit for some reason. This morning, out of nowhere, my lymph node in my jaw started swelling like under here and it's very painful and it's the, under the exact wisdom tooth that has been giving me hell for the last you know, nine, ten days, whatever. I just really wish I could have like a decent time with people and my body wouldn't just reject itself. I'm making latkes right now and I wanted to start the vlog because I don't know if I'm gonna be filming a time when we get there because we're all back together finally and you've seen all the D&D &D, like virtually we've done over the last like many months. So I, feel, I felt like it was just worth bringing up. Today is the day we're all back together. These look incredible. I am so excited. Our latkes are ready and packed up. And we're gonna get ready to leave very shortly. This is the comfy outfit I've chosen for today to be playing D&D &D in. We need our dice and I need my cards and that's about it. I know, that's what I'm yeah, a really nice restaurant that's just off the Globe Theatre. One level of music, we have way more spell slots that you can use to smite. <laughs> oh, look how beautiful the mountains are. Hello vlog. We just finished our first in-person D&D &D session since the beginning of March. It was so fun to be all back in person, back in that space again. The craziest thing is we've played like 13, 14, 15 sessions. I think over the course of since we first started this group back in the beginning of February and when it started we had only had the chance to play together in person all together twice. So we had only actually met one of the other couples twice. <laughs> and then we went on this huge journey of like playing online together for the last three and a half months and now we're back together which is funny because it's only the third time we've actually seen them in person. Our DM is basically creating the world that we're in now or like the, the plot of what we're currently doing. He's basically making all this himself which makes it a lot more fun for him and a lot more fun for us because it's more like a world that we're literally creating together. We did brunch as you saw like very little clips because we were just like really in the moment but we had nice mimosas. I don't usually drink much. This was an exciting day for me to try to see what happens with my body with alcohol again. Two mimosas, pretty fine. 
We just got pizza for dinner and I got my Gymshark order this morning before we left. So fortunately I will be doing that haul in its own video, but I'm excited because I ordered that back on the 18th and it finally got here today. So that was really exciting. I need some chocolate and some pizza. Ooh, also the bathroom situation. So apparently upstairs has leaked as its own thing. So they have to shut off the water in a couple of days to deal with that situation. But we have people coming back tomorrow that are supposed to be looking at it, telling us if we can take the equipment away. Don't know what's gonna happen with that, but I just kind of wanted out of our lives. So we'll see what happens. I just finished filming my Gymshark haul. This is one of the sports bras that I got. And if you wanna see that, it's in its own video, but I kind of wanted to share this because I showed this in the last vlog and I didn't try them on. It's the Maryland shorts. I'm obsessed with them. They're shorter than I expected because they are running shorts. So they do have this like little like crease here and they have just the underwear underneath. But I mean, these are dope. I love them so much. Okay, so now I'm gonna hang out for a bit. I have Captain America on the TV and it's really hot and I think I just need to hydrate because it's so humid here today. And it's really, really just like, I'm overheating, I think. I'm generally somebody who's very good at remembering to stay hydrated, but I'm kind of just, losing it today i also drank this morning there's just a lot of things at play so I'm just gonna do a little self-care for the next hour and a half 